This is our beautiful game. This is the face of pain. The look of joy. The thrill of the goal. This is weekends past and many to come. This is the experienced head and the speed of the young. The weekend is for battle, not for flight or fear. The wait is over. The Victory League is here. Sure, we're uh, obviously very happy with uh, maximum points so far, but we're a little disappointed with last week's game against Launceston in, in the way that we played. We did get maximum points, but we weren't happy with the, the way we played, so we're looking to improve, and we have to improve for tonight's game in, in order to uh, entertain the Knights tonight. I'm confident with the playing group that, we, uh, that we've brought together, um, their, their quality, and so I'm surprised because uh, you know you just I see three times a week of training just what uh, what these players are capable of and and we're just happy with the way that they've gelled and the, and how the winning mentality is. Oh, it's brilliant! It's fantastic. You can see the surface. There's there's no divots. There's no mud. There's no uh, uh, anything like that. It could be a cold night. It could be raining, which could be possible tonight. And and it's still a joy to be on. So. It's just a real asset to our club. One thing we, we have noticed already is that there's just no easy game in this league. We played Launceston last week and, and I wouldn't say we struggled, but we found it difficult to break them down. They were very well drilled. So there's just no easy games anymore. Uh, last year that may have been the case, but it's just not the case this year. The Knights are a very good unit. They, I've watched them a couple of times now and uh, when they beat South Hobart in the Cup and, and, and last week against Devonport, Chris has got them well drilled, they're, they're, they try and play football, uh, they were probably a little unlucky in the second half not to get a point or at least a point uh, against Devonport. Nick Mearns will be involved for sure, uh, I'm not sure if he'll be the key replacement for, for Lockie, I might keep that card up my sleeve at the moment, uh, but uh, yeah, certainly Lockie has uh, tweaked his hamstring last week and, and hopefully will be out for two weeks, uh, but we will, uh, at this stage of the season, we'll be more cautious than uh, yes, I think I got there last night. Actually, it was quite cold, so um, pretty well rugged up last night. But obviously, just be shorts and uh, top tonight. But should be okay. We'll get Tim to rub a bit of a uh, deep heat all over the body, and should be fine. I think it's against any team this year. I think our, our group has just really gelled very well. Um, we all get on great. We have a good time. Um, that's with the coach, the committee, the supporters, and everybody. So I think just as a club this year, um, tasting a little bit, little bit of success early on has just gelled us probably even more as a group. Um, and yeah, look, uh, I just think we try, when we play the football that we play, which is nice one-touch football, um, that it, it's good to watch. People, we enjoy playing it, um, spectators enjoy watching it. So I think it's just that we do get on very, very well as a group. So, uh, we take it one week at a time. Um, we spoke uh, a couple of weeks ago about being on top of the ladder, how you become the hunted, rather than hunting teams like South Hobart and that, that have, have and um, su sustained success, I suppose, at the top for a while. So, uh, look, we brought it up as a group that now most clubs that come to play us will probably lift 20% because you always want to beat the top team, so we need to make sure that we, we lift and include by 30% every week. So that's where we're at as a group. Been playing uh, some good soccer over the last few weeks, but uh, more or less been in patches. So we just got to keep our heads up and keep playing good soccer. Yeah, we're just going to keep playing good soccer. We're just going to keep playing good soccer. We're just going to play to our plans and uh, try and uh, an yeah, we've had a couple of opportunities to uh, see them play, of course. Uh, we watched them play against uh, Zebras, which they looked uh, very sharp indeed in that first half in particular. Um, more or less, as, as I said, we're just going to have to go with our game plan and hopefully uh, pull off, bring away, and we'll come away with three points. Yeah, yeah, we certainly do have a pretty uh, quick squad and pretty fit squad as well, so we're certainly capable of running out a 90 minute. I think our biggest issue is Eric. We've got a number of issues. Um, probably our inconsistency as a unit. You know, we've played some very good football, there's no doubt about it. Um, but we're putting that together in patches, as previously been said. Um, experience, I think, has got a lot to do with it as well. When you're, when you're trying younger guys and giving them a, an opportunity to, to play at the top level, um, you know, experience is a big thing. Um, a ball under pressure and that sort of stuff you, you, you're thinking 
rotating is trying to rotate your squad, uh, which 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 I'm trying to do. Um, I suppose my focus I've always said is a little bit different for, for the first year. Um, but having said that, the main focus is to win games, and you know we 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 come here tonight to try and uh, no doubt get an upset. I mean Olympia, from what I've seen this year. Um, you want to talk about title favourites, you know, they're certainly the form team of the league. Um, they're playing extremely good football. Uh, and, you know, we're going, to be, we're going to be up against it tonight, there's no doubt about it. But we have beaten South Hobart and we've drawn against South Hobart and they are a good quality side. And, uh, you know, they're on par with Olympia um, as, a, as a unit. And if we can beat those, those teams and beat South Hobart two out of three, weeks will be competitive with them. There's no real reason why we can't be competitive.